So it is Cavs time back here on NBA 2K19. I, we're still right there, top of the East. And we're going to try to jump into a game here. And we're trying to, I'm trying to figure out what would be a very good game. I was thinking the Bucks maybe. Um, but you can see they're not even in the top eight, even though they might have some talent with Giannis. Um, but maybe I'm going to look at the West because we could face the Mavericks or the uh, Timberwolves. So Timberwolves are right there. We're going to take a look at their roster. Obviously looking for a better team to face here. So uh, Roach, Butler. They still have Butler, obviously. This is before uh, the trade happened. Carl Anthony Towns. They got Levine back in free agency. They have Wiggins coming off the bench. Monroe. So they got a pretty deep team for sure. Um, geez, Jeff T just sitting down there. Uh, so I think we'll take on the Timberwolves, which will be this next game. We just send that Heat game. We win 109-101. And let's jump into this game against the Timberwolves. So, so far this season, um, I'll have to admit, it really hasn't been the greatest. The games have just been absolute blowouts. Um, we I've changed up the sliders a little bit just to see uh, if we can get a more competitive game and obviously facing a better team. Not the greatest team, but a better team. So let's see if we can get a good game here for once. It just hasn't happened yet this season. They have just been... I mean, not even saying a 15 point blowout i'm talking uh like 40 point blowouts it's it's been a little bit ridiculous and i'm trying to you know resolve that a little bit but uh hopefully this helps out as they they get a good start with jimmy butler getting the uh, bucket and the foul and they have the three nothing start here to this ball game so uh obviously with the players deep on this team zion williamson you can see here hasn't he's been fantastic as he goes through Gets the bucket and look at the foul of Rowan. He has been great. Leading the team, obviously, in points and assist. And he's right there in rebounds. Now, the games we played with him, he hasn't really gone off like we've experienced. Because, you know, with Anthony Edwards and, you know, guys coming off the bench have really performed well this whole team. As Adams with the offensive board out to Edwards. So here he is. This is a bit of a tougher matchup. As now Williamson, as we get back to him, he hits the three. So I'd like to see him get a little bit more involved offensively. Zion with the games we uh, play just to um, you know get back to this old way see if he because he's obviously a guy who could just take over ball games as Roach hits that one to put it back within one so so far in this ball game uh, the sliders are seeming they, they seem to be working out a lot better uh, offensively they seem a lot better defensively the uh, CPU seems a lot better and you can see 20 to 17 as Wiggins is gonna try the three that is no good Zion with the rebound. He'll take it up to Sexton for three. Sexton can't drill that, but Adams on the offensive board. Nice job there, boxing out. That's why we brought in Steven Adams. We didn't have a guy like that in the past, and we, we now finally have somebody that can uh, make get those extra shots for us as Wiggins is going to try another three. This time he drills it, but you can see, like I said, it seems to be working out. 26-24, we're having a way better ball game. Still having fun with this. It's tight. It's close. You know, you got to work for shots. So, obviously, I don't know. I never changed anything with the sliders in that NBA Finals where the Suns just dominated us as Boban slams that one home. Um, so, I, I was confused at why I was getting just absolute blowout games, but changed up a little things here and there. And right now, this is looking good as Carl Anthony Towns drills the three. Just a one-point game here with two minutes left in the first quarter. So, we got a good one going here. Because now we got our bench. And now see our little getting the screen from Morris. He throws it, and that's going to be thrown away. Bad pass there as Towns gets it, throws it over to Wiggins. Wiggins puts that one up and good. And the Timberwolves actually have the lead here as we near the end of the first. So 35 seconds left as that's going to be a three attempt. That is no good as Morris gets the rebound, throws it up to Rozier. Rozier is going to throw it over to Little, and that's a not a good shot. But what a rebound there by Osman. Nice job getting that offensive board. So out to Morris, Osmond with it down the lane, up and under, perfect move there by Osmond. Nice job, man. Don't see that a whole lot from him, but that was a that was very nice getting the offensive board and then putting that away like that. So T Wolves gonna set up for this final shot here in the first, probably gonna throw it down to Towns and that is gonna be good. So puts it within one, 3.7 seconds left. Rogier up the court gonna try a three and it is good. Wow. That was, uh, I couldn't believe he made that shot there, but what a job to finish that quarter there. 37-33, we got a tight one here. 
in Cleveland, and that's a great defensive stop to start this second quarter. Up to Osman, over to Little, he puts it up and in. And that's something we are fantastic at is the transition game. Uh, this team has got a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism, can get up the court quick. Uh, so that is good to see as Edwards down the lane, and he puts it up and in and gets the foul. So as I was trying to say earlier, Edwards, a little bit tougher a matchup here facing with Jimmy Butler, who's a you know a way better defender than you're going to see in most NBA. He's struggled a little bit in this ball game. He still has seven points, but shooting from the field not very good. But uh, that'll help out for sure. As now we get the starters back in and look at Colin Sexton. See you later. Just left this man in the dust. Not much you can do about that if you're a defender. You can see Sexton trying to get something going here. He has got some confidence rolling, trying to get it out to Zion, but he cannot drill the three. Still only a six-point ball game as Roach down to Richardson. Richardson down to Gafford. He puts it in, and that's going to put it back to a four-point ball game. So we pull ahead a little bit, and then this T-Wolves team just comes right back. It's now Monroe trying to go at Adams. Good defense there by Adams. Good rebound by Sabonis. We'll throw it up to Sexton. Sexton down to Edwards. Man, that was a risky pass, but it worked out perfectly. He lays it up and good. And now it's a five-point ball game here with 444 left. Zion here with the ball, trying to get a little one-on-one. -on -one. Adams clearing a little bit of room there, and he puts it up and in. But no, but Adams once again with the offensive board. Puts it up and in. Puts this back to a seven-point ball game here with four minutes. So whatever we're trying to do, it seems to be, you know, it, it works out, but then the team will come right back at it as that's going to be Butler that slams it home, puts it to a three-point ball game. Oh, so nothing we have. It's just back and forth, back and forth here. They are playing fantastic as well. So Sexton down the lane looking for Zion. He's going to come down the lane, and he is just, he's just so tough to stop. Minnesota's going to call a timeout there, but, man, once he gets ahead of steam going, it's he's just so tough. And you can see, like I said, the transition game, the fast break points the last 10 games. We're number two in the league. Uh, this team is built for that for sure. As Richardson for three, he will drill that and puts it to a four-point ball game here, 59-55. And Zion, there you go. You can, just cannot give him any room. You have to get up on him. You can't, especially there, they gave him at least three to four feet of room. Forget it. Once he gets going, he's going to slam it home all day. It, it's just so tough to stop. So a four-point ball game, but Edwards with a great defensive stop there. Up to Sabonis, over to Williamson, back to Sexton for three. That is good. Perfect passing there. Man, that was that was nice passing back and forth and getting the three-point um, shot there. So we got the pretty much the last shot selection here if we want to. Five-point ball game. Edwards down, lays it up and good. Nice job there. 2.9 left, puts it to a seven-point ball game. As Levine's is going to throw it up, and that is no good. And that is going to be a seven-point ball game going into halftime. Uh, once again, I'm going to say it again. This has been a so far a fantastic game. You look at the st statistics: 53%, 49%, rebounds similar, assists similar. So um, it is working out. This is a very good ball game. I think we're a better team than the Timberwolves. So, I mean, they're still a talented team, but that's good to see there. Even, you know, a team that maybe we're a little bit more talented than is still giving us fits. So I, I like that a lot. As Williamson down the lane, yeah, that's automatic every time. I mean, really, I mean, you just want to get everybody involved. But if you really try to do that every time, I'm not sure how anybody would stop Zion at all. So look at Towns going to town on the board. Throws it out to Richardson. He cannot get that one to go. Uh, that was a surprise wide open miss. As Williamson down the lane, yep, forget about it. Just lays it up and in and puts this to a 10-point ball game. So, um, laying a little bit better here in the third quarter. Trying to extend this lead. As Sexton down the lane makes another move. And then the foul on Towns and one. And this will try to put it up to an 11-point ball game here with six minutes left in the third. So, we're playing... A lot better defense here in this third quarter. And the offense has been definitely a little bit more, uh, you know, consistent and successful as it's up to a 13-point ball game here. Zion down the lane, and nobody's got Morris. What was that defensively? They just both, I guess, tried to double him, and Monroe was nowhere to be found. Morris just walks down the lane, slams it home. So that put it at 15, but now it's back to 13 as Towns steps back for three, and he drills it back to 10. 
So you know the T-Wolves are going to try to get back in this ball game here as they now they got it under double digits. Williamson down the lane. That's going to be no good. Wow. Usually mostly automatic and didn't happen there. Wiggins. Now Monroe has it. He lays it up and in and it's a six-point ball game. And we'll use a timeout here to settle things down. The T-Wolves have jumped right back into this here. And now it's only a five-point ball game with 130 left here in this third quarter as Little's going to put that back to eight with the three. Nice job by Zion drawing in so many guys. And then the three by Little. So getting at the end here, this third quarter, 10 seconds left. Wiggins is going to put that one up and good. So that puts it back to a five-point ball game. So give credit to this Minnesota team. Getting back from that 15-point deficit. Three seconds left down to Williamson, and he cannot lay that one up and good. And that'll keep it at a 94-89 to ball game. We got a good one going here in Cleveland. And I guess it's about time. So we'll head into the fourth quarter, and uh, let's see if we can bring some uh, intensity here and get a victory against this T-Wolves team as Adams with a block from behind. Out to Edwards, down to Little, Little down the lane, and he's going to lay that one up and good. Might have had somebody underneath the basket there. I think that was Terry Rogier, but uh, puts it in anyway, and uh, that's going to put it at a 98-91 ball game here. And let's see how we can do defensively against this team. So Levine, they're looking, they're looking for Carl Anthony Towns for sure, but Adams playing some good defense. Uh, kind of messing up their offense a little bit as Levine down the lane back out to Carl Anthony Towns hand in his face no good nice rebound there by Adams with the Rozier up to Little and Little it's gonna slam it home Woo. man he got up on that one you can see his head above the rim there and slams it home wow Nasir Little hole oh, wow that was amazing there as here's Little once again, and he just goes through everybody and slams it home. And look at him. He is all pumped up. The fans are all pumped up. We have now taken a 12-point lead. We built this lead back up with Nasir Little just going crazy here, showing his athleticism, that's for sure. Not only that, the defensive effort has been fantastic here to start this quarter. Now Sexton bringing him to the court. He just brings it up. Nobody in his face. Drills the three puts this up to now we have an 11 point lead here with five minutes left so we have come out strong in this fourth quarter as that's a three-pointer there by Osmond putting it to a 14 point ball game this is uh this is definitely fun for sure we've had a close ball game the whole time and really we have just taken it to him here in the fourth quarter with Nasir Little look at him down the lane slams another one home he has taken over this fourth quarter off the bench Fantastic. This might be the best moment I've seen for Nasir Little this whole franchise. That is for sure. He has just been fantastic this fourth quarter. So bonus with the block. Man, the defense has been great. Now Roach down the lane. He looks out to Richardson for three. He does drill the three. Might be a little too late here for this T-Wolves team. Two minutes left. Seven point ball game. They got it down to seven. They're trying everything they can. So here's Edwards with the ball. Four seconds on the shot clock. He goes up, lays it up and in. He's had such a struggling ball game from the field. You can see 6 of 18, but comes up with a huge shot there. And that is pretty much going to do it as it's going to be 125, 115. This is definitely the best ball game we've had this season here. And it was a lot of, def a lot of fun to play. And seeing guys like Little just take over the ball game uh, there at the end. And uh, yeah, Zion Williamson, I don't even think he played the final six minutes. It was fantastic for sure. And I had fun playing it. Hopefully this is the slider set we go with. And hopefully even if we take one, I'm thinking of taking on maybe, I'll look at the schedule going on. We got I want to take on an even better team just to see how it pans out. But Nasir a little great game. Colin Sexton, he struggled a little bit here and there, but he stepped up. Steven Adams was fantastic. Um... You can see six offensive rebounds. He was great, 18 and 12. Edwards really struggled, but coming up with that huge shot at the end, 13 and 6. Um, everybody, I mean, Sabonis struggled for sure, one for five from the field, but 10 boards, had a nice block. He was decent defensively. So everybody, just this team is just so deep. I, I'm right now, the expectations for me are so high that obviously we should make it back to the playoffs, but if we don't make it back to the finals, um, I'm going to be severely disappointed. That is for sure. We'll take a look at the stats 
So 51% from the field for the game, 45. So there you go, 30% each from three points. Um, we're not shooting yet. Yeah, we're not shooting, you know, 65% from the field like we were in those first other games where it was just, it just seemed so easy to get shots. This game actually seemed a little bit more difficult to uh, get the shots going, running a lot more plays than, you know, kind of freestyling it. But um, still another, another victory, though. Solid game, still number one in the East. And, yeah, looking at the schedule, we got the Grizzlies in about a week. So I know that it'll only be a three-game sim, but still, uh, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that Grizzlies game. Obviously, they're the top team in the West. Kyrie Irving, I think, is number two in the league in scoring. So uh, that will be a very good game. Obviously, always uh, wanting to face Kyrie Irving in the, uh, you know, we tried to bring him back to Cleveland. Obviously, he left Cleveland, wanted to get away from LeBron. Uh, it didn't work for him in Boston. As in the first two years, this Toronto won the uh, championship, and then obviously he moved on to Memphis, and they got a pretty nice team as well. So that's why they're number one in the West. Uh, that is for sure. That is not a fluke, and you got him going. So that should be an interesting matchup. So I think that's what we'll do next one. We'll take on the Grizzlies, uh, see what this team has, and um, our team is good too. So it's going to be a very it could be a finals preview. Who knows? We it could be early on, but it could be a finals preview. But that was fun. That was another. Uh, that was definitely a, the best game we played this whole season. Hopefully, we have more of those to come for sure. So that's going to do it for that one. Thank you so much for all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye bye.